Hey guys, Ivan has promised me a high performance Honda for today's video. Gotta say I'm pretty excited. How are you doing, Nick? I'm Ivan, and this is DIY Detail. And today, we're gonna show you how to coat your new lawnmower. We don't only do cars here. We don't only do trucks. Everything you have in your life deserves a ceramic coating. That's true. Even your lawnmower. Even your lawnmower. I'm still a little surprised. I'm yeah. processing everything here. But this is a brand new fancy lawnmower by the looks of it. Gas powered, hydrostatic commercial. Yeah. Growing up in the Midwest, I can tell you any detailer probably loves mowing the lawn. You get those nice lines. You have the pride of, a, of work well done. But, but the grass sticks to the inside. Those right. clippings are a pain in the butt. Right, we want our mowers to be easy to clean. Same as we do with our cars. Guess what, it's paint just like our cars. We can make this easy to maintain, easy to clean with a ceramic coating. So off we go. I mean, I never thought we'd be coating a lawnmower. Well, we're here and we're gonna do it right. Now, do we need to polish this? No. Do we want to polish it? Yes, we're detailers, but we are going to resist the temptation. This is brand new out of the box. It's never seen a blade of grass in its life. So we do not need to polish it. We don't need to decontaminate it. All we need to do is make sure that the surface is perfectly clean. Now let us know in the comments, number one, if you've ever polished or coated a lawnmower, and two, I have. You should comment and subscribe and like and support the channel. Exactly. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna use our panel prep and make sure we wipe down every surface we're gonna be coating. It's that Great simple. rule for anybody using panel prep. Don't spray it on the surface, spray it on your towel and then wipe it in. Yeah. Why do we use panel prep, Ivan? Well, we wanna make sure that all the greases, oils and everything else are off of the surface. So if this was a used lawnmower, what would I be using? I imagine some all clean and rinseless wash before the panel prep. Yeah, so we'd be starting with all clean, making sure that we have everything off of there and then moving forward with the rinseless wash, panel prep. Of course, you have a lawnmower, which probably means you have a house, which means you might have a pressure washer Pressure washer for cleaning a lawnmower is a beautiful thing. You'd want to avoid though, certain areas of the lawnmower. Uh, yeah, basically just you want to avoid the, uh, the ignition wire, spark plug, and air filter. We're gonna do the, uh, the wheels too? Yep. Heck yeah. Hey, while we're there. And we had a discussion about this. I said, if I have a lawnmower that I just spent a lot of money on, what coating am I gonna use? And I'm probably gonna keep this as long as it runs. So let's do the eight year ceramic coating. We want the most durability out of this. Exactly. You don't wanna coat your lawnmower twice. You don't wanna coat this again in three years. Like it's gonna get beat up by all the grass and the elements. Let's do it right the first time. Yep. And make this thing easy to clean. You got all this side of the, bo of the body? I do believe so. Okay. Look at that red shine. Looks gorgeous. Yeah. Comment below if you like mowing your lawn. If that's something that you think gives you some meditative pleasure. Right, and do you do straight lines or do you do squares? Do you do the Zamboni thing with the half and half? Do you crisscross, which I think takes so much time. But it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. So, our panel prep is done. Hey, we're almost done. So, next up, I'm gonna tilt the mower so you can get the underside of the deck, which is probably the most important part to do because you don't want the grass sticking to the underside of the deck. Sounds exciting. Yep. So we'll tilt it up, I'll hold onto it. Do you need help? No, I got it. Okay, all right, we're gonna do this fast. Now there's no gasoline in this, so no need to worry. Now, am I getting blades and everything? Yep. Okay. Everything under there needs to be coated. Just that simple. Now, the dealer put oil in this for us. Great thing for them to do, but had they not put oil in, we could have actually flipped it upside down on something soft and done that. So if you're buying a new mower, ask them to not put oil in it yet. And when you don't have the oil in it yet, 
then you're good. You can flip it upside down and you can do what you want. This one has the oil in it, so we didn't want to flip it upside down. I have a fresh towel here. Yeah. Our coating applicator here, right? And our eight years ceramic coating here. Exactly. The beauty of this, folks, is because you have that five minute time to uh, level the coating after yep. we've applied it, you can essentially do the whole lawnmower. Don't worry about uh, you know leveling it until you're all done. Right. So we'll start with the beauty shot, the nice red here, and then work our way down from here. I mean, you've consulted a lot of detailers about farm ceramic coatings. Right. So this sort of reminds me of that. There is utility in coating things that are used outside to do work in yards and in farms. Oh, definitely. There's a big utility to that. The, you know, the machinery isn't cheap. Uh, especially farm machinery, you know, detailers get really excited when they do a $100,000 car. Meanwhile, that old tractor sitting there is still worth 500000 even though it's 10 years old. So there is that as a consideration. The other thing is, farm machinery especially, goes through very, very nasty chemicals. Uh, you know, there's literally doo-doo sitting on them sometimes, uh, cow doo-doo and pig doo-doo and all that fun stuff, that really eats through paint. So having that protection, having that layer of protection there is definitely going to extend the life of the piece of machinery. I know there's a lot of agricultural detailing that's really blowing up. Would our eight year stream of coating uh, suffice or be great for that kind of application? Not necessarily. Okay. So it's not the same type of paint that is on agricultural equipment. You want a coating that's designed for agriculture or heavy machinery. Love to, say, love to say yes, but no, it's not the... We're less worried about high spots and perfection than we are in probably slathering it on thick on agricultural equipment, right? No, it's, again, different chemistry. Okay. So we just have to make sure that we're doing it right and using the proper products. And again, it's not, it's not like automotive clear coat, so it does have a different chemistry to it completely. You learn something new every day. Now, is this gonna damage your agricultural machinery? Not at all. But it's not gonna protect as well as a dedicated agricultural coating. Now, one thing I'm not doing is actually the control handles. I don't want my hands slipping off of those. So the coating does make things very slick. So with that slickness, I don't want to impart slickness on those handles. You know, it's like when you're detailing a car. You don't necessarily put something slippery on the pedals. Never. How's that wiping off? It's great. Leveling easily? Absolutely, like a breeze. Yeah. And even if there's a high spot on here, no one will ever notice it. So I barely even see the coating here. Yeah. Like, I'm just kinda making sure nothing's super obvious and... You don't wanna purposely leave a high spot. That would violate the international rules of detailing. Oh, definitely, 100%. <laughs> All right, this is really starting to come alive. This thing looks great. I've never seen a mower with such a small fuel tank. So as Nick gets the other side dialed in, I'm just gonna make sure we didn't miss any spots with the coating, no spots, have high spots on them. It's already feeling slick. I didn't think much of this thing before, but it's looking really great now. Yeah. You got the wheels? We got the wheels on that side. So ceramic coating your lawnmower, super easy to do. Now I'm a bit of an OCD detailer. The last time I bought a mower was actually a riding mower tractor. Uh, I paint corrected it, I coated it before it touched the first blade of grass. Are you serious? Yes, and it made mowing the lawn so much easier. Well, what if we say it also made it more fun? Well, definitely. Just like when your car's clean, it's more fun to drive? Exactly, yeah. I had the best looking lawn tractor in the whole neighborhood. <laughs> you would. And it was a breeze to clean all the time. Oh, this is slick. Yeah. Ooh, this is slick. You yeah. aren't kidding. So get those Dang. wheels and then okay. we can flip it up. Ooh, that's nice. So here's the applicator. Okay. We'll flip this up. Why don't I flip it and oh, you I got go. It. Oh, actually I missed a spot between these two. So just, you can actually see the difference in the plastic. Coating plastics, over or underrated? So, if it's brand new, yes, coat the plastics. 
If it has started to oxidize in any way, shape or form, no. Because what happens is that oxidation is now in the plastic. No matter what you put on it, it's going to continue to oxidize. And if it continues to oxidize, you're going to have a problem in the future. You won't be able to restore your plastic because the coating is locking in the oxidation. So if your trim is at the point where it needs restoration, use a good trim restoration product and leave it at that. So now we have it tilted up. I have the instructions where coat everything. So that's what exactly. I'm Exactly. If you can see it, you can coat it. I'm not worried about high spots in here, Ivan. No, we're actually gonna leave the coating there. We're not gonna wipe it off. Just slather it in there, right? Yeah. So definitely you wanna get everything coated in there. We're not worried about removing high spots. And we have another product that is amazing for this and that is Quick Beads. So if you are pressure washing the underside of your mower deck, once you're done pressure washing, add Quick Beads. It'll make the cleaning the next time so much easier. Now, of course, that blade and the inside of this deck is gonna get heavy abrasion over the years. It's gonna wear the coating off. But having the coating there is gonna slow that process down. And if you do this every once in a while, or you use Quick Beads as a follow-up to this, your mower deck is gonna last a lot longer and it's gonna be a lot easier to clean. Nick, have you ever even owned a lawnmower? Oh man, you don't even know. Little Nick McGurk was a lawn mowing pro. And oh, okay. uh, my big regret as a kid is I never started a lawn mowing business, which I think was like the pent up demand for me to end up starting a detailing business. I loved mowing lawns from when I was a kid. Yeah. It was my favorite thing. I was, I, just like with detailing, I took way too long, but I was really good at it. There's something about, oh, I think yeah. detailing and mowing lawns that both take time, they're not glamorous. But um, when you're finished, there's a great sense of pride. Exactly. And you get lost in the work. I think we're good. There we have it. Eight years of ceramic protection applied. Now, I think the self-propelled lawnmowers are for wimps. You push that lawnmower like a man, Ivan. Yeah, but it gets boring after a time. And depending on how long your grass is, or not your grass, but your, how big your lawn is, it might get a little tiring over time, you know, pushing the lawnmower. This one is self-propelled. It's got a speed adjustment, cruise control, you name it. I don't know if it's Bluetooth, though. We'll have to figure that one out. There's no beer koozie holder, either. Yeah, beer and mowing shouldn't be going together. That's more for the riding lawnmowers, right? And even then, yeah. That sounds more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you're dry, you're, you've got something that potentially can cut your foot off, your hand, whatever. Not a good idea. Ivan, we've coated this... Japanese high performance high machine. High performance machine. Like I promised you. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, leave them below. We're always happy to answer. And if you like more fun videos like this, well. Mm -hmm.